Donnie, what do you got there? One hard oil line okay. locked up solid. So, friends, this is nuts. A buck and Ganges, and uh, oh. and we're down at Walker Saw Shop, and you guys know the story on this oh. this saw. Look at this, Donnie. Take a freaking look at that. It's like solid, yeah. Crack. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Well, I think you do. As a matter of fact, I think you do know what I'm saying. Um, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't. Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Jojo, are you kidding me, buddy? What? You got to be kidding me. Oh, she's a Johnny. Wow. Oh, my. What? What? Super 920? What? Dude, it... Oh my gosh, look at the dogs! Oh my gosh! What? You guys are... What? Look at this power saw! <laughs> oh, Jojo! Oh my gosh, friends, look, it's a Super 920, look at the dogs, Bucking. this is a custom saw, look at the little exhaust port, <laughs> Joe, and West Coast, Gordy, are you, what? Electrolux Sweden John Sered 920. The freaking thing. Electrolux Motors AB. Dude. Are you kidding me? It's solid as a rock. <laughs> you, Joe. I love you, buddy. Thank you so much. I got to put some gas in this. What? I don't even... Are you... Come on, Joe! Look at... What? Look at that. This is a neat saw. How are you doing? Dude. So after about a half an hour of priming the carburetor, it's been sitting for so long. Everything is dried right out. It would, it would light on a prime and die. Light on a prime and die. I finally got it going.
Okay. So I got I got that laid down. I got the uh yeah, I got it laid down. Now, friends, we uh we cut these down quite 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 some time ago. And uh matter of fact, we cut them down. Uh on the Axemen show. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if you haven't seen Axemen 2020 or whatever it was, or 2019 or something, I don't know. Me and my boy were on the Axemen show. Axemen or Axemen or something. I don't know what it was called. But I'm going to go down there and I'm going to cut that tree down. Not the back one. See the back one? I'm going to leave it. But the that guy there is tall and if it decided we left it for the birds and the bugs and they've already really begun to work on it and it's nice to watch them but that one's too tall if it did if they started working on it down low and it became very decrepit down below it could snap and come up this way and make some contact with the deck which we don't want but the back one i could literally fall that at the house and it, i don't believe it would hit the house we're gonna try this new john thread out friends that I got in the mail by a good man named Joe. And I believe he got together with uh, Gordy at West Coast and uh, they put some custom dogs on it for me. And they, they plasma cut a bucket into it or CNC'd or whatever that stuff is. But whatever it is, they did one heck of a job and I love them for it. All right, I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna fall that tree right up here. And it's gonna end up right there somewhere. So I got the clothesline down because I don't wanna smash it. You should you should see it somewhere up in here. I'm actually kind of shooting for that that actually right there. This thing, I don't know where it's leaning. I may do a deep undercut just to get it to cave in on itself instead of you know trying to bang over a dead piece of wood. That's what it is, and it's fast, friends. Oh,
the flowers off. That's interesting. Pretty soft ground right there, friends, eh? This thing's not getting any bar oil, which is a shame, because it's running okay, but it needs exhaust. It needs a, it needs a muffler. Well, I'm gonna, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to have a look at this thing. Friends, we, we actually nailed our spot. Look at right there that's concrete right there those those are cinder blocks so it would have wiped out the uh clothesline 1000 percent the clothesline's right here you see so it would have smashed the clothesline and uh we got our shot right on the and, and it would have completely destroyed this deck if it had uh, hit it completely destroyed it yeah so that's that one's okay let's go see what's up with this john thread um it's not getting oil i i don't know maybe it's the bar i don't think so though i don't know let's go have a look let's take the bar off and, and have a look I didn't have it turned up by any means. It was its first run ever. So. I love it. Okay. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm doing. I don't. I'm gonna put my piston stop in. there yeah good morning friends how's everybody today uh, i hope you're doing well i'm just going to voice over for a minute here uh what what a what a neat thing youtube is once you create a community that we've created friends isn't it cool I think it really is. Well, we I get to, we get to talk to one another. We get to all over the oh world, God. like you know, Hungary. How are we doing, Martin? Your axe is in the mail. How you doing, Craigular? Daewoo. Tasman. Killinger. How are you, brother? I love all you people. I love this community. It's a special, special thing we have here. Don't think I don't know it. I do. We're all creating 
So create yourself. Create who you want to be. If you've created something you don't like, then turn it around. Check out the size of this bearing, friends. Look at it. Look at that sucker. It's massive. I love it. It's a big saw. The saw came from a man named Joe. Joe, I love you, brother. Thank you so much. Um, it's an NOS saw. It's never been used. It's never been used, friends. So what happened is when it got out of the factory, they had some little bit of residual something or other in the tank. I'm trying to diagnose this problem, okay? So I'm trying to diagnose why is this thing not getting oil? So I'm thinking to myself, okay, has something happened in here? That's why I'm going in here. I'm trying to find the right wrench. I got no tools. I'm primitive. Old tailgate buckins at it again. So I won't bore you too much more, but I'll tell you something. Friends, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I decided to start running this YouTube channel six years ago or whatever it is. I really am. And I love you all. Back to the show. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't think I have the right tool with me. I don't know what to look for or, or anything. Okay. Okay, well. It's a gear. And there's the gear. Ooh. Oh, there's an O-ring there. It's right on the crank. Look at the size of the bearings in here. You guys gotta come and look at this. Look at Look at the size of this saw. Look at it. So here's these two O-rings right here. There's one on there and there's one in my fingers here, okay? Um, and the rest, that's a screw, screw, and screw. There's the gear that it runs on. See, it's 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 a thingamabobber, and there it is there. So it's all intact, but this spins a bit hard. This does spin hard. It's not like it. It will spin. It it spins, but it, maybe I should WD it. I don't know. It's like I Swedish plastic. I blew through there into there and it hit there came back and almost blew it right off of that exactly yeah yeah so just this grommet this grommet so, still is good so i think we just put a new line on it that's what a i little think bit longer it'll dangle around there and be good yeah maybe blow that thing out and see if yeah. there's anything in there but that's that looks like a, re, a fix from somebody doesn't that should be she sure was solid. So, oh yeah look at it just oh look at that solid. so someone's because that's from the factory it was never run i don't know i don't know why that would be from the factory that piece maybe somebody's been in there maybe maybe they had that on there so it didn't bend over and, and, and kink i think that's exactly why they we had didn't put the same sort of setup on it we'll just put fresher stuff on it. donnie walker's the man see friends i was afraid to take that grommet out because I, i'd have broken it guaranteed i'd have broken it and you can't get parts for it you can't so i so. came to the man who knows his business look at this three spiker that's kind of neat eh? those are those i just got i just got, some, yeah. I just got some of those in yeah those are sweet. I wonder what they're like. Of those uh, pro safeties and a set of the West Coast ones for the for the, the two hundred T's and they're okay. sweet. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 never, I, I got those dogs here now too. Yeah, I never realized how much bigger dogs on the two hundred would make a difference. But when you're got a cut that's like your that bar length or a little did. bit longer than your bar, and you're yeah. reaching overhand. To yeah, right. To do your conventional cut, the dogs on the stock, the stock dogs, they don't dig in, so your saw's riding all over yeah. the place. And, that's why those guys ever doing single stem on a bunch of years oh, yeah, ago. I, I was making them dogs. I was welding bigger ones onto the small ones. Yeah. So, yeah. Is this going through there? I bet you're not. Yep, now it is. Oh, is it? Okay. What are you smoking? Some old oil. <laughs> <laughs> bet you that gives you a head rush. <laughs> oh, Donnie. You got to love Don Walker. Donnie Walker, friends, if you don't know, well, I'm sure you do. He's a freaking legend. <laughs> But the deal is, friends, is there's only a few saw guys left who know this quick fix, old school stuff. It's a dull Johnny, right? There's only a few guys left like that. There's new guys coming up. It depends on who mentors you when you come into this. 
old tin man laughs at me because he knows I got no tools, but I always get it done somehow. And then if I'm really stumped, I come and see this man. He's been helping me out for 25 freaking years. Can you believe it's been 25 years, Don Walker? Jeez, man, we're getting old, are we? Ganges? I'm not I, even 25 years old. Yeah, no, I used to pack Ganges around with me. He used to come. He was down here like this. I remember playing with it. you guys had like those uh, little Tonka trucks or like there's an old skidder or something. That, yeah, that's uh, right. Was the old shop with the little, little kid. scoop on it. Yeah, <laughs> and then that, the old dog that you guys had, Timber. Timber, yeah. Yeah, yeah big Timber. Big timber. He got run over, didn't he? Yeah, he ended up running over and uh, later on passed away at about 13. So he had a good life. He did have a good life. He was a big dog. Yeah, well, Man, yeah. he was a big dog. He was a husky, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, Husky Wolf. Wolf, yeah. yeah. that was a cool dog. He actually, I, I got him from a guy that got him from a logging camp, and there was all, he had the only dog in camp, and there was a Husky Wolf. There was a from. female Husky up in camp, and then it got pregnant somehow. Right. And you said, where was it? Uh, I think you, it was up in Butte, Italy. Butte, yeah. 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 Guy was, big, uh, uh, big. A heavy duty mechanic, and his, he had taken his dog into camp. And the big timber wolves out there, boy. Yeah, and there was the only dog in camp, so if it got pregnant, that's the only way it was. It was from a wolf. <laughs> that's kind of neat, really, isn't it? Half, half wolf. Really cool. And I remember his face. He had that, dog. those eyes. Cool yeah, he was neat. Real, real neat dog. Yeah. So we're going to fire this up real quick, make sure we're spitting, which I hope we are, unless I screwed it up. It'll work. It'll work, fucking. It sure, you know what's funny? This saw, friends, I didn't film it. I think I might have filmed some of it, but when I got the saw, Joe says to me, fucking, it, I don't, he says, it's up to you what you want to do with it. You want to go nuts with it or you want to hang it on the wall like it's never been used? It's up to you because it had never had gas in it, friends. Well, you know me, it's a power saw. You got to run the sucker. So, I promptly threw gas in it, fired it up, but it would not run. It would not run. Was that your chest that just cracked? Yeah, it wasn't my chest that just cracked. Um, so I was gonna get my back to do I it. I just but. kept feeding it, you know, like like uh, what do you call it? They're priming it, priming it, running it, and it would slowly start to boom, 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 you know, just go feeding along, nursing along. And then all of a sudden, it's like the diaphragm and the pump got lubed enough from the two-stroke oil in there that that it softened up and started to work. And then I slowly was able to start turning in the low jet to get it to about one, one and a quarter. I mean, it's a brand, Crazy. It's a brand new sock probably had to break in. Yeah, it was, That's well, it. I think or it- not break in, but you know, it's been sitting for so long not. That's running. it. And how old that saw has got to be from the early 90s at least. 80s. 80s, yeah. Yeah. I think so, yeah. It is, it's 85 well, to- It doesn't have a chain break on it, so. No, and it's I'm gonna take- So they put this on for heat. For heat, uh, heat yeah. I think I'm taking that off. Just that's your chain break. Just get yeah. <laughs> Pretend chain break. Oh, I see. Yeah, because it's fresh aid on. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, yeah, that motor's. Oh, it's a th old thin ring. That's oh, yeah, better. look in there, friends. The thin, look, the thin ring's better, too. It's perfect shape. Is it a single ring? Nope, two two thin rings, sort of like twenty one oh ones had at the end. Yeah. Or the tw original twenty one hundreds had the thick rings. Actually, I want to show that, Don. And they were hard to pull. Just turn it, turn it, so you can see the rings. Yeah. Take a look at this thing. Oh, there we go. Two little thin rings. Two little thin rings in there, and she's just minto. What's that noise? fly right off yeah there's there's hundreds of them down the ravine behind the old shop because they just fling right off yeah they just go sailing man I yeah i've had them come off in the room here bang 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 around I'm like, are you serious <laughs> oh yeah oh wow well, i've never had though. that happen to me yet that's coming out good though i love it buddy right thanks on. don walker 
problem. So, so that was the problem, friends. It was, uh, it was all congealed inside the tank, and I was not going to bust that, that freaking grommet. But Donnie just went at it with a screwdriver like he's done 4,000 times before. And now we got, we're ready to run this sucker. I think what I do too with this thing being the, the age and that was like that, is just have a look at your fuel lines. Take the top cover and stuff off, look yep. at your line. Inside the tank, make sure isn't it all hard and cracked maybe. Yep. So you don't have a lean out situation. Just just check it out. Do you know that what it what it firstly did is it it didn't matter. I'd open that high jet way open, like three turns. Yeah. And it would go zing, scream. Yeah. And I was like, it's leaning out. But what it was, it was the carburetor it had been so dry that it wasn't able to, uh, uh, you know, do yeah. its thing. Then all of a sudden, Don, I'm not joking you, it was like it flipped a switch. Well, why don't you get some glue on the meter in there, friend? Or am I just popping it up and up to work? I would check it out anyways. Okay. It's just an RK23 Tolson kit. Yeah. Standard, man. Exactly. Okay, cool. Of gas and she's getting oil I love it that's a great saw Joe thanks buddy see the buds they're coming in see them Mm hmm Good morning, friends. Ah, my wife just brought me a cup of coffee. It's Tuesday morning. I want to thank the newcomers who have just come in and subscribed to the channel in the past little bit. You've shown up at an interesting time. I welcome you. And I see your comments. And I see your new names coming in because I don't recognize some of the names. So that means you're new. I welcome you here. If you're new, my name is Buck and Billy Ray Smith. I'm a hand faller, tree climber, woodman, lover of all people. Things I get into pretty much along the lines of power saws, firewood and axes logging not as much logging as i used to do i'm on the tail end of that production fall and gig i just received an email asking me to speak up about old girl forest stop logging old girl forest i don't know if i'm going to do that yet but i do agree with it i believe the old girl forest should be left alone now i do i'm a lover of the forest and a lover of the trees and i do believe that old girl forests should be left alone now it, it's time it's time that 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 we left the the you know three to a thousand year old wood it's time to leave those stands alone now our forests regenerate in 60 to 80 years you can log that's a short order if we can't get along with that without leaving old growth alone then there's a problem old growth should not be logged anymore that's my opinion, and I've logged it myself. But it, it, it I, I just think it should be left alone now. That's my opinion. I've had it for a long time. When you go walking through an old growth, old growth forest, you'll understand. Um, Vancouver Island still has old growth. There's old growth right down the road here. There is, and it's 
It's amazing. Think about it. Five and a five hundred year old tree. Why shouldn't it be able to be just carry on with its life now? <laughs> it's made it that long. It should be left alone. My opinion. Friends, thank you all for watching. Welcome to the new subscribers that have come into the channel in the last little bit. It's Tuesday morning. I'm just pumping this video out. I love you all. I love my vintage power saws. I love getting them going. I got my five, uh, my 150 going, friends. I want to share that with you. An old round chain in the file. And if you guys want to see that stuff, let me know. I'll throw it right up for you. Over and out. Be kind to one another, friends.